Now I would like to show you how to export these tables once when you complete it. So uh, let me show you what options you have. If you click on this view button, you will be able to see this view mode here. Now we cannot edit those tables. Let's say we completed them and now let's see what options we have to manipulate with them. Basically we can filter these values. For example, if we click on this button here, we will sort this profit column. It will be ascending. If we click once more, it will be descending. And let's try to click on this cost of sales. If we click one more time, we will be able to sort it ascending. Also, if we click one more time, it will be descending, like in previous case. We can do this for sales and country column, it doesn't matter. But let me show you one other way, how can we do that. If we click on this more button here, we also have options to sort by and we can choose column. If we click on country, we will be sorting by this country column. So basically we can do the same by using this sort by option. If we click on this reset button, we will basically reset everything. If we click again on this more option, also what is important to see. Now we cannot reset this table because we already did. We only can reset if we make some changes of this table. So uh, now that we covered that, it's important to mention this export button. If I click on that, I will be able to e export this table to CSV, Excel or Google Sheets. So let me, let me just try to export it. I would like just to show you how it will be done. And let's try to keep value formatting, which means that we will keep these colors, these formattings and everything. If we do that for Google Sheets, let's leave this name. It's not important at this time. If I click on this export button, we will be able to see new window. And now, as you can see, our table is imported. So that's the, the option that you could use to export your data. Let's close this one. And let's go to edit mode.